All right, for more on the means no-no, we bring in our baseball reporter, Matt Snyder. Matt, th this wasn't just a, a no-hitter. I mean, th this was complete domination on this day. Nobody really had a chance. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you look at the 12 strikeouts, th there weren't, we were actually just talking to a group of us that there weren't really any defensive plays that really were like, oh man, he really got bailed out there because a lot of times in a no hitter, you see something like that. The closest scare we saw in the highlight package was Kyle Lewis to lead off the eighth inning. Looked like it might be a home run, but it said ended up on the warning track. That was really the only scare. And the, it is amazing. This is one of the most memorable no hitters for me because of the way that it was not a perfect game. I mean, it was a strikeout and that's why he doesn't have a perfect game now. Uh, I faced the minimum because that guy got thrown out stealing. Unbelievable story. We're still looking, but as far as I could find statistically, this is the only time in history that a guy's been a strikeout slash pass ball wild pitch. A guy gets on base. This is the only time ever that that's been what has prevented a pitcher from a perfect game. That's incredible. Of over uh, 300 no hitters now in Major League Baseball history, what did you make of that play back in the third inning? The Sam Haggerty uh, swing through the curve and then Pedro Severino just not being able to handle it. Seems like it needs to get blocked. I mean, he, he he didn't get crossed up. He called for a curveball. He saw his mitt set up low in the zone. He knew it was going to be down. It kind of feels like you need to be ready for it to be in the dirt. It needs to get blocked. But hey, at the time, he didn't know this was going to be the only thing preventing a perfect game. I'm inclined to go a little easy on him, especially since he just threw the runner out at second. And really, again, if he didn't allow any hits and he didn't walk anybody, that seems awfully close to a perfect game. Uh, nice consolation prize to get the no-hitter. It was the longest active streak in Major League Baseball between pitchers who went the whole way for a no-hitter on one team, all the way back to 1969. I mean, the Orioles have had some incredible pitchers throughout the years. It's surprising to me that it's been so long, over 50 years since they've had a guy accomplish this, Matt. That just shows how hard it is to do. I mean, when you know that, like, Mike Mucina never did it when he was in an Orioles uniform, for example, that just shows that's how hard it is to do. And uh, on any given day, you could have somebody come out and, and throw a no-hitter, maybe somebody that you've never heard of before. And some of the greatest pitchers ever, like Greg Maddox, never threw a no-hitter. So sometimes it's a coincidence. Sometimes you've just got to be on and have all this bright stuff working. Let's say, though, John Means, it needs to be said, is having an unbelievable year this season, not just a no-hitter. He was 3-0 and for a not very good team with a 1.70 ERA before today's game. Obviously, that goes way down with the no-hitter. He's been outstanding all year. This was obviously the best outing easily the best outing of his career that kind of goes without saying but he had never even worked deeper in a game than seven innings before his career high in innings pitch was seven he'd done it eight times before today he goes out and he goes all nine and he gets the no hitter unbelievable yeah, outing he was on a mission out there in the eighth and ninth inning as well you could tell how much he wanted this and he got it john means the no hitter for the baltimore orioles that's Matt Snyder joining us here on HQ. So that's three this season. We had a couple back in April. Carlos Rodon of the White Sox, Joe Musgrove of the San Diego Padres. And we had a couple uh, last season as well. Alec Mills of the Cubs, Lucas Giolito of the White Sox. By the way, still haven't seen a perfect game in nine years. And coincidentally, uh, that no-hitter today taking place in Seattle. Felix Hernandez, the last player to throw a perfect game. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.